Our protagonist, Tomoya Aki's days begin early in the morning at his job as a newspaper delivery boy. While he is at school, his partner tells him about a new girl who will be his classmate. Her name is Iriri. Although Tomoya already knows her, that same day, our protagonist offers her friend to create the best dating video game, but she doesn't accept it. While Aki and his friend are at a school ceremony, he starts talking to her about Kasumi Gayaka, how beautiful she is, and that she is also an excellent student even though she never does anything and even falls asleep in class. After the ceremony, Tomoya Aki looks for Kasumi Gayaka to convince her to be on his team, or at least to give him some advice, but she tells him that she doesn't deserve it and that she is busy writing her novels since she is successful in novel writer and also a passionate otaku. Upon returning to his class, Tomoya decides that he is going to show them that his project really has a future, so he goes to look for Ariri and Yutaha. On the way his classmate Megumi tells him that the teacher needs his help for something. He replies that he will come later and she takes the opportunity to thank him for picking up her beret from the street a few weeks ago. Although it takes him several seconds to remember that she is his muse and perfect video game heroine. He goes after her forgetting that he had quoted Yutaha and Iri. Tomoya invites Megumi to a coffee shop and to begin with tells her that she is very pretty. Megumi tells him that he had never noticed her presence because he is well known at school and is always surrounded by people. Tomoya excuses himself by telling her that she actually has no personality or expressions, which is even worse since he expects the girl who made him remember his dream about creating a video game to be more striking. She changes the subject by asking him if he is dating the two prettiest girls in school. He denies it and she shows him that outside the window Ariri and Yutaha are waiting for him angry that he stood them up. Tomoya invites Megumi to his house to teach her how she should act to look like a heroine. Upon arriving at her house they begin to play a dating video game in which Megumi chooses the protagonist's actions. But nothing she does seems to please Tomoya who was expecting other kinds of choices. At the end of the game she tells him that she liked everything and that it is even better than she imagined. Then Tomoya realizes that maybe he was wrong, and when Megumi is about to leave he invites her to play the sequel of the game and stay at his house taking advantage of his parents being away. It's the week of Tomoya's project delivery and he must concentrate to get Iri and Yutaha to agree to work with him. But after succumbing to the temptation of reading light novels, he wakes up determined to focus. When he returns to his room he finds Ariri, who entered his house because no one would open the door because he needed a space where he can create his doujins. After a while Yutaha arrives, who at first flirts with him and then explains that she went to comfort him or maybe to scare him by telling him that he has no chance of succeeding in his project. But Tomoya doesn't back down and tells him that he will try his best and that he will convince her. At night Tomoya and Katu talk on the phone. Before hanging up she asks him if there is anything in particular that he liked or anything he hates about her and he replies that he always has fun when they are together. Days later, unable to write anything, our protagonist goes for a walk looking for inspiration. After a while he still sees nothing, until Megumi's beret flies in front of his eyes, who approaches him dressed and talking like the waifu of an anime and explains that to help him write he asked Yuri and Yutaha to help him transform her into the heroine he needs for his video game. While Megumi and Tomoya go to school she tells him that she has read the light novels written by Yutaha that he has lent her and asks if she can keep them. He says yes, and that series is missing the last season. That same day Tomoya works as an interview manager for Yutaha, where they ask him questions about his next book. But Yutaha doesn't seem very interested in answering and falls asleep. There they talk about his most relevant work The Metronome in Love which has been so successful thanks to Tomoya publishing it on his website and promoting it everywhere. A few days later, the circle meets in the audiovisual room to review the development plan of the game and talk about a very important topic, money. Tomoya declares that he will take care of it, as long as the other members do their job well. A few days later, while Tomoya is working in a restaurant, Megumi appears at the door with a man. The next day, at school, Megumi tells him that the man was her cousin. But this does not please our protagonist as it goes against the waifu image that his muse should give. The circle activities have begun, but with some hitches, for example Megumi, who doesn't know how to put an angry expression for Ariri to draw, and Yutaha is somewhat blocked in writing. The next day Yutaha tells them that he has spent the whole night without sleeping creating the plot and that they should read it to give him their opinion, even though everyone seems to like it. Three days go by without them doing anything because Tomoya confesses that he doesn't want to use that story since it wouldn't be his. On the weekend Tomoya goes on a date with Megumi to the mall, but our otaku protagonist feels quite uncomfortable with so many people, so when he starts to feel a bit bad, 
his date patiently takes care of him and they manage to enjoy a fun afternoon. Also Tomoya realizes that he must apologize to Yutaha for not wanting to use his story. Tomoya goes to talk to Yutaha about the latest volume of his novel and how important it is to readers. One rainy afternoon Yutaha remembers when she asked Tomoya for his opinion on her novel, and he didn't want to read it because he felt that his opinion would be useless since he is a big fan of it, but for some reason bothered her for a long time. After his date with Megumi, he goes to pick up Yutaha to his hotel where he is staying for an interview. There he asks her to help him to be a creator. He then tells her about the date he had with Megumi and explains that he must change his storyline because at that rate the protagonist will not be happy. In the end, they spend the whole night rewriting the plot and the next day Yutaha welcomes Tomoya to the creator's club. Yuriri calls Tomoya to help her with a character in an adult novel. He must pretend to seduce her. As they go along Ariri asks him to go faster to the plus 18 scene as there are a few pages left, where they both end up embarrassed by his words. The next day Tomoya is lecturing Megumi because she has changed her hairstyle to a ponytail, and explains to her that it can ruin her image as an anime protagonist. As he continues talking, a girl calls his name and as she approaches, she hugs him. Izumi turns out to be a student at the school Tomoya used to attend. Izumi tells them that she also makes doujins and that before meeting Tomoya she didn't watch anime or play video games and that thanks to him she knows the otaku world. That's why she calls him senpai. After Izumi returns home, Ariri seems to be a little jealous, although she tells Tomoya that she is not angry. While they are fighting someone greets them but they ignore it. Until finally Tomoya asks Iori what he wants since it seems he is Izumi's brother, with whom he no longer has a relationship. He then reminds him that they used to be very good friends, even though Iori was the most popular and important boy in school. They started talking when they discovered that they were both Otakus, but as time went by Tomoya realized that his friend only used the Otaku personality to take advantage and be more important. Before leaving, Iori tells him that he knows what project they are preparing and that by chance the circle where he works is doing the same thing. Megumi arrives at Tomoya's house who is already working, but on the project that Iri was laid on. In the meantime, Megumi asks Tomoya to show her the game that Izumi had recommended. As soon as she starts playing Iri gets distracted and can't stop looking at the game. When Iri finishes her drawings, she sits down to play and remembers that she had actually borrowed that game from Tomoya when they were little, but he never returned it. He asks her what she will do about Iori's proposal about working at his publishing house and she replies that she is determined to work with Tomoya and will not accept another offer. Days later Megumi and Tomoya go to the comic to help Izumi. When Tomoya reads a bit of her little friend's doujins, she sees that there is a ton of potential to sell them all. Tomoya prepares a poster and starts inviting people to read them. In a short time they manage to sell them all. At the end of the event Tomoya chases a girl who turns out to be Eri. She seems to be a little jealous because he has promoted Izumi's doujins, and with hers it has not been like that. Tomoya wakes up and sees Yutaha in his bed. When he gets up also Megumi is there cooking since they both went to talk about what happened with Ariri. Meanwhile Ariri is getting ready for a party that her parents have prepared in the evening. After getting dressed she goes out to the balcony to watch and at that moment Tomoya appears dressed as a character from the video game they played with Iri. They both go to their old school, but although Tomoya wants to reconcile, he ends up telling her that she was the one who abandoned him first. Then they remember when they were little and had started talking until they became good friends. But one day a group of kids started bothering him and Iri did nothing to help him. Neither of them apologize as they are still angry with each other, but despite that, they go home together with Ariri on Tomoya's back. One day, when Tomoya goes to take a bath, he meets his cousin Mikairu, who tells him that she will be staying at his house for a while because she had a fight with her father. As the circle continues to put the project together they realize that the only thing they don't have yet is the music. After a while Tomoya gets a message from Mikairu and they all begin to question him, imagining that he might have had an affair with their cousin. Tomoya arrives home. When he gets to his room he finds that Mikairu has set up all of his instruments, and to make room he has put all of his sleeves in a garbage bag. After returning everything to its place, Tomoya takes a bath and when he gets out he begins to listen to a melody that makes him remember the day he saw Megumi for the first time, that same day that his dreams came back to life. As he goes upstairs he asks Mikairu to join his circle to create the music for the video game. Tomoya introduces his cousin to the circle with the intention that she will be in charge of the music, but neither seems to be very agreeable. Tomoya keeps insisting that Mikairu join his circle, but she tells him that she actually already has her band, but that her father made it a condition that she get a decent manager, so Tomoya offers to help her find one. 
but she misunderstands him and thinks that he will be her manager in exchange for that she will join his circle. But he still refuses, then Mikairu tells him that she can tell that his circle is not serious and tries to convince him to quit. After a whole night of hesitation, Tomoya meets with Megumi, who tells him that she has been studying to help him with the project scripts and shows him her progress. She also tells him that Iri and Yutaha helped her. This makes Tomoya's doubts dissipate, as he can see that they are really serious about the project. Our protagonist used his contacts to get his cousin's band to play as the opening act at a concert. Mikairu is angry with Tomoya because the clothes she has chosen for the concert with her band are very otaku. But he tells her that he knows that when he met them they were an otaku band and actually all the songs they played were anime but she didn't realize it. Even though Mikairu feels a bit nervous about playing, she gives it her all at the concert. In the end, she tells Tomoya that she really enjoyed it and in the end agrees to join the circle. After leaving the concert Ariri and Megumi walk back to their homes. After spending a lot of time together they become good friends and Iri tells her that they should stop using honorifics to refer to each other. The end. Thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, and click the bell icon to get new anime recaps.